Hey everybody, Captain Adonis, we're back playing Starbase again! Um, and we're just mining. So this stream is just going to be me being boring and mining and talking about whatever I want to talk about. So please, if you uh, want to join the chat, please jump in. Join the chat. It's open. I'll answer all your questions while I mine and I'm pickaxe mining because I believe that's the proper way to do this. Oh, I'm going to show you show you something really cool. You can I don't know if I have it set up on my hotbar anymore. Nope. Okay. Oh wait, I do. No. I don't. All right. So, let's put the buzzsaw in our hands. Set that to 5. There we go. And we're going to cut away these rocks to make a big mess to get to the ore inside. And then go back to our pickaxe. Full concentration when it comes to mining. So I may just have to break some of these little rocks out of there. That's all that was in there. All right. Looks like there's a good one down there. So how is everybody today? I don't even know who's on my stream. Oh, look at that. A big rock appeared. Big space rock. I feel like I should go back and watch the expanse again. Cause I'm I'm I feel like I'm a belter. I'm a belter and I'm out mining. Ooh, what's in this one? Oh there you go. Not much. They could be deceiving. Big asteroids can have very little in it. All right. Let's head right into the thick of it. Oh, that one's pretty close. It was moving by pretty quick, so we better go check that one out. Oh! Too fast, too fast. I need to figure out the turtle button. Oh my God. Did it again. I need to figure out the turtle speed button so I can get that programmed in. Agitite and ice. Get rid of it. Mm, this one's a pretty big asteroid. What's it got in it? It has oh bastium in it. Come on, 
Get over there. Gotta make a man-sized hole for this robot. Get in here and get all this good stuff. It's like the creamy center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. If you know what I'm talking about. Cy Ravensong said, How goes things? Hey, how's it going, Cy? Nice to see you. Don't forget to subscribe if you would. And follow me. Um, playing Starbase. Just doing a little rock mining. Trying to make some money. I'm saving up to uh, um, Cy Raven buy a better ship. Said, Need to hear what I type. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot easier when I'm streaming, so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. To have the text to speech on, and that's I'm sure it's not exactly what you sound like. So uh, that just happens to be my text to speech. Each person is different. Um, they get whinier and whinier <laughs> as more people join and talk. <laughs> some some of them are some people get offended by it because it's like I don't sound that whiny, do I? Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> so you play Starbase, Cy? Are you thinking about getting it? Cy Ravensong said. Cy says this is what I sound like. <laughs> nice. Oh, that asteroid disappeared. It just up and left. So I've been playing this since uh, day of release. And uh, I'm still not out of my starter ship. Uh, big asteroid, big asteroid. Boom. Good thing I'm still in the safe zone. So if you play, this is the starter ship, but it's been modified. I got lots of cargo spots. I got a Cy mighty Raven laser. Song said, I was playing the game, but found it hard to make friends. Oh. Piece of cake. What, what server are you on? We're on 28. We're on Origin 28, so um, by all means, we are, uh, I got a, we got a company going, and we're a gaming club, so we do a lot of games, but uh, so far... I think six of us have picked up Starbase, so we're uh, we're always on. I Cy Ravensong said, "I've been to each station trying to look for people." Yeah, good good idea. So by all means, we'd be happy to play with you in game. I mean, so far what we've done, I mean, it's just right now until the weekend shows up. A lot of the guys can't game because they work. I happen to be unemployed at the moment, uh, looking for work, but um, all in all in the wrong places. But uh, no, it's it's just it's just a matter of time before. Cy Raven Song said, "What group are you with?" We are with. We started the company. Um, what's it called? Mahula Brothers, and we're on uh, Origins Twenty Eight. So, um, we have three members right at the moment. Not a big group, but um, it'll get bigger because I know a couple of guys are going to start this weekend. So, but you should be able to find me through Steam or uh, in game, you know, shoot me an email. Um, I mean, it's, it's literally. Cy uh, Raven song. Captain said, Adonis. Don't need a big group, just some people to have a laugh with. Yeah, well, that's what that's what we like to do. Although Zan Fan, he's he's my army buddy. I'm ex Navy. He's army. Um, he gets a little uptight trying to build ships because stuff doesn't line up quite right, and it's uh, yeah, it's there's a lot to it. I don't know how long you've been playing, but uh, there's a lot to it. But yeah, anyway. Um, Send me an email or something, 
in the social. Um, I think I'm just all, yeah, it's, it's Captain Adonis, all one big long spelled out. Um, yeah, right there, Captain Adonis. I knew I could find it. So send me an email or something, in-game email, and we'll join his friends. Like I said, we're on station 28. Sigh, Raven Song said, I started a day of launch, but haven't oh, wow. been on in a few days. Got depressed. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah, especially, you know, with COVID and everything, and uh, it can get it can get to you, but, you know, I'm an older guy. I'm, you know, um, been around the world. Don't sweat it. Oh, man, that one disappeared, too. Friends come and friends go. And that ain't no big thing. I mean, I do... I've had lots of friends over the years. Some that I thought were going to be like my best friends forever. Coming out of high school. And uh, one of them... I, I literally thought him and I were going to be like living in the same house together when we got out of high school after we got out of college and stuff. He went to college. I went in the Navy. He finished college and then he went in the Army. And he found a wife that has religion and he won't even talk to me anymore. Because I'm not the most uh, politically correct person in the world. I mean, I don't have a problem with anybody, but uh, I do have my own opinion, and I think everybody should accept everybody's opinion. And if you can't accept my opinion over your opinion, then something's wrong. But we usually avoid talking politics and religion. Usually. Sigh, <laughs> Ravensong said. PC yes, the snowflakes. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't like using the term snowflake either, but you know what? Oh, God, that one disappeared. All the good asteroids are disappearing. We try to, we try to stay PC as much as possible, only because we're streaming and, you know, YouTube. You know, they're the big brothers of the world now, telling us what we can and can't post. Or how we can post it or what we can say so I get it you know I mean it's the way of the world it's always been that way too Sai. I mean it's Sai Ravensong it, it, said no really another good word for people who are offended by anything not in line with their own views yes very very true but if you know anything about history history just repeats itself over and over and over again so none of this is new. This all happened years ago. It's just the generation that it happened to has died away. And now we're dealing with it as our generation. So, I mean, I've talked to my grandfather and my dad when they were both alive. My dad's still alive, but my grandfather's not. And boy, he was a racist and a bigot. And then my dad, and he was highly religious. Um, which I could never figure out how he could hate somebody so much and yet say his God was all about love. But regardless, um, then my dad, who wasn't religious at all, and how he changed me by not making me deal with... Sigh, Ravensong said, the religion and hate seem to be friends. Yeah. Especially nowadays. Um, but he taught me not to deal with the haters. You know, just go on with your own life. Uh, because no matter how, how sad you think your life is, I guarantee you, and I have seen it being in the Navy, I traveled all over the world. Um, I've been in like, 16, 17 different countries. Um, there isn't any place better in the United States, in my opinion, as far as freedoms. 
Um, there may be other countries that are close, but um, I've seen some real shitholes that I wouldn't want to live in, but the people that are there are just happy being themselves. And that's the best advice you can give somebody. Just be yourself. Do what you want to do. Don't worry about what other people think of you. You know, I was one of those kids that when when skateboards were really cool, um, I was rollerblading or roller. Or, Sigh, yeah, Raven song. Roller said, roller don't skating. Don't worry, be happy. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, be happy. Exactly. There's a lot to that song that really rings true. I've seen too many old people go around life being depressed and being angry. I worked in the hotel industry for a lot of years. Ah, oh, that one disappeared. And watched a lot of angry people. And I just, I, I'd come home every day going, I don't want to be that angry. I don't want to be that angry when I grow up. Or grow up, get older. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever grow up. You ask my wife. I'm still a 12 year old. I mean, here I am, middle of the day playing video games. So, come on. <laughs> yep, uh, if you if you end up joining us, we'll give you our Discord information. Sai Raven Song said, "Yeah, I'm pretty mellow. I don't get riled up unless someone is being harmed." Yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. Protector of the weak people that can't protect themselves. That's me. But anyway, I was saying, um, you know, if you do decide to join us, um, be happy to give you our uh, our gaming server in Discord. That way you can join us in voice. Um, like I said, just shoot me an email. We've learned it's a lot easier for people who want to join us to make the first step because we've done we've done it a lot of times where we've gone oh yeah let's invite this guy and then they never come in and never do anything so all my information is in my description of the video Sai Raven Song said so so many of those yep So what time zone are you in, Cy? Are you in the United States on uh, Raven Song? I, do I know you? Do you play World of Warcraft too? Cy Raven Song said. Okay. U.S. West. West Coast. Okay. So I'm in I'm in Mountain Time. So I'm just an hour different from you. Um. So we should be on about the same time. My buddy that uh, Zanfen, he's in Texas. So he's central time, so he's two hours different from you. I suppose Raven Song is pretty common. Um, Sai Raven Song said, I did Warcraft many years ago. Yeah, so I, I do Warcraft now. Um, I have a raid group that we get together every Friday and Saturday night which isn't for a few more hours yet. Um, and then I do a podcast on our raid that uh, I do pretty good on. I've got uh, about 5,000 fans worldwide, most of them in the States, but um, we talk about what we did during our raid and how we raided. and So that's a lot of fun. That one I didn't really I didn't really think my podcast was going to take off. I started my podcast just to see if the raid team Sai Raven Song said, "I can do about any other MMO, but not Warcraft." <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of 12-year-old uh, griefers in Warcraft. That's why we have a raid group. Our raid group's been together for about 10 years. Um so we know everybody, so it's it's like family.
So we look forward to it every Friday and Saturday night. It's like, you know, after a week long work, get together with all your friends. But yeah, I don't think I could just do straight regular Warcraft without my raid team. I don't think I could. I think I'd quit. There are too many idiots in the game. But my wife plays, my son plays, my daughter Sire plays. Raven Song said, I was just telling someone today I could play Ditch Digger Simulator with the right people. Ditched. <laughs> Yeah, but if you did that one, you'd have to you'd have to have that song, uh, "Diggy Diggy Hole." You ever heard that song? I used to play that song all the time in the background. Sigh, Raven song said, "I have not." Oh, go go YouTube it. It's called "Diggy Diggy Hole." You will laugh your butt off. It is hilarious. Um, and it's a really catchy tune. Um, but it's great for, like, mining. If you're out there just, you know, whacking away with a pickaxe. There's another asteroid there. Oh, Nelly. Diggy, diggy hole. Oh, there we go. I need this red stuff. Uh, not a lot there. I don't want... No, I don't care. What's this stuff called? Chardonium. I play uh, Imperion Galactic Survival, too. And that one, there's a lot of mining to do because you got to resource everything. And uh, I used to play Diggy Diggy Hole. Sai Raven Song said, I found myself asking, what am I doing in this game? You can mine, build a ship, and shoot people. Yeah, I haven't gotten into the PvP part of it. I don't know that I will. Too many griefing 12-year-olds. I don't know. I guess I like the, the building part. I'm slowly learning that. And I like the mining. This is, to me, this is just, oh, relaxing. Except when I miss the asteroid. <laughs> Shit, where'd it go? There it is. Boom! Nuggerite. Awesome. Sigh, Raven Song said, "I like tactics and a purpose." Sure. Yeah, I play. I play all sorts of strategy games. Um, not a big. I mean, I'll, I'll play against somebody else. That's that's fine. But you know, I'm not a big fan of that. I like RTS. But, no, see, that's why I bust them up, because I've already been to that one. Sai Ravensong said, I'm not very competitive either. Yeah, I used to I used to try to play chess a lot, and all it did was give me a headache. God, where are all the asteroids? Sai Raven Song said, I grew up playing chess. Yeah, I was a I, I played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and because I live in Montana, um, it's really tough uh, to find people who are willing to play, you know, because we're a very red state and religion's pretty plentiful out here 
and Dungeons and Dragons was the devil. That was the devil's game. How can you talk about demons, wizards, and warlocks? So it was tough to find people until I went in the service, until I went in the Navy. Then I found a whole bunch of people I liked playing. So I got used to playing with a lot of people. And then when I got back out, I came back to Montana because um, I wanted to raise a family here rather than anywhere else. And uh, yeah, uh, pretty much uh, nobody out here wants to play. So I got into computer games. Cy Ravensong said, It's not a game, it's combat training for the real thing. <laughs> but I have a tough time finding people who play D&D out here. So it was just easier playing World of Warcraft. It's the closest thing I could get to. God, where are all the asteroids? This really sucks. There's one. It's it's because it's cloudy. You can just barely see them. All right, looks like I'm getting into a good mess of them now. Sai Ravensong said, certain parts are clearer than others. Yeah. Yeah, but I found the parts that are really clear, there's a lot of people mining in them. And not everybody busts up their asteroid. And it sucks to get all maneuvered in, to get to the asteroid, to go, oh, there's no ore in it. There we go. There we go. There they are. Now we're getting into them. So have you, you tried mining with a laser yet? Or are you just doing a pickaxe? The, the DeWalt pickaxe. <laughs> Guys had sense of humors when they made this. So I've got a mining laser on the ship, but the problem with the mining laser... Sai Ravensong said, I have tried the laser and scanner, that's one of the reasons I'm depressed. Yeah. I know, it's a downgrade to the pickaxe. It is. Because you collect everything. Now, not saying that when you go out past the PvP zone, I heard that the asteroids that are out there, and I, I don't know this for sure, this is just rumor mill, um are coded in what we're trying to get here, the good ore, you know, like that, like, you know, this, what was that, uh, Bastium, and that was Volcarium that I just collected. But it, the good asteroids are coded in Volcarium, and the good stuff that we're doing... Sai Ravensong said, oh, really? And then the expensive ores, the rare ores, um like the Agrisium and that kind of stuff are contained inside. So when you go out to the PVP, you want to destroy the whole asteroid because all of it's good. But it's not just just inside the PVP area. It's quite a ways into the PVP area that the asteroids get like that. Now, like I said, that's rumor mill. I may be totally wrong, but that was what I, I watched uh, or I listened to one of the guys that I've been watching play, um, that's what he was talking about. He's been outside 
the safe zone a couple of times, which is about 50 kilometers out, I guess. I haven't been there yet. Sai oh. Ravensong said, I've been 200 kilometers outside safe and only found a few rare maps. Oh, really? Okay, so you'd know more than I would. So are they still just encased in ice and stuff then? All the crap ores, I call it. Sai Ravensong said, same stuff, yeah. Yeah, okay. See, I was, I was wondering about that because I was like, man, everybody would be out there getting this stuff and there would be a lot more of it for sale Sai at the auction Ravensong house. said, but I can't say as to further out. Sure, but 200, that's quite a ways out. So did you get anybody try to attack you or anything when you were out there? Sai Ravensong said, Not yet, D I D N T C people. Okay. I don't think there's too many people trying to go outside the safe zone yet. Well, the game's still fairly new, so unless you got in pre alpha, um, And I don't know that even those people that played pre-alpha can bring the you know all their knowledge and experience and gold and money and all that stuff into it now. Oh, I forgot to bust that one up. No, not suck it up. I dang it. Sai Ravensong said, "I heard rumor that the big groups went way out right away." Yeah. Good thing I'm still in the safe zone. Because <laughs> my driving sucks. I gotta learn how to program a turtle button. So I don't keep hitting 100% throttle. Sai Ravensong said, Hitting rocks outside safe is really bad. Yeah. That's what I hear. <laughs> and until you get good at building your ship, I don't want to go out there. Because right now I'm still still learning how everything comes together, the you know what snaps together, what doesn't. Um, and a lot of it is, you know, Jesus, they got so many different types of beams. Um, you know, there's 96, 48, 36s. Those are, uh, I mean, I'm a contractor by trade, so it's not a big deal. But it's still having to put a, a three and a two together to make a five because a six wouldn't fit. It's like, uh, frustrating. Oh, where'd my pickaxe go? Sai Ravensong said, I just want to be a captain of a large ship. Ah. Want to be a, an admiral, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, we have we have big plans to try to do something like that, but we'll see if it works. It'd be nice to have, you know, get like a big battle cruiser and have weapons on it and torpedoes. Uh, coming in hot, coming in hot. Sigh, Raven Song said, uh, not leader or admiral, just captain of my own ship. <laughs> You big Star Trek fan? Sai Ravensong said, "I am nice. One of my favorite my favorite scenes um, in one of the movies uh, when they went back in time is when Chekhov fell and got hurt and he was in the hospital, and they're trying to snap him out of his anesthesia." And, Kirk's like, Chekhov, name, rank, and he goes, name, Chekhov, uh, Pavel, Andreov, rank, admiral. <laughs> I love that. And then uh, later on, he does become an admiral, which is kind of cool. Cy Ravensong said, voyage home. Yeah, the voyage home. Yeah, that one to me was kind of the, I hate it when, when movies, they progress so far and they can't figure out what else to do, so they do the whole time travel bit. It's like, come on. Everybody does time travel. All right, what can I get rid of to take the Nougarite? Oh, there we go. Boom. And did it fill me up? Nope, got a little bit left. But that's all the new grade. All right, time to head back to the star base and turn it in. I guess I really didn't need to break that up. All right. Twenty-seven. Twenty. Oh, I was out. Look at that. I was out twenty-four. Twenty-four kilometers out this time. Look at all these hidden... I'm running right through this hidden asteroid field. Sai Ravensong said, Right now I'm trying to figure out what to do with my time. Thinking this naval action FF fourteen may be something else. Is that a new game? Is that a game? I might have to check it out if it is. Naval action. Is it on Steam? If it's a game. There's a guy there's a there's a game called Naval Action on Steam. Looks like wooden ships and iron men type game. Sai Ravensong said, "It's an oldish game with a smaller player base, but few better for age of sail combat." Okay. Yep. I play um uh, what is it called? Uh, hmm. It's a uh, sandbox game 
but it's uh, wooden ships. I'm um, looking through my list right now, but a lot of games. Sigh, Raven Song said Atlas. Atlas. Yes, Atlas. I play Atlas, and then my daughter got me talked into uh, that really quickie one. It's like pirates. You play pirates. Sea of Thieves. She got me into that one. Which, eh, Sea of Thieves, I don't mind just Sigh, to Raven play Song with him. But. Said, I, I, we played that one too. Yeah. It's not bad. It's it's one of those, you know, that's... It's, it's fun if you got a group of people and you're working together. Kind of like Atlas. I mean, we had a huge Atlas party of about eight guys. We built a big galleon ship and launched it and... Uh, floated it around and we ran into some sirens and they pulled us right off the boat destroyed our ship and we went okay we're done because <laughs> all that work right out the door yeah <sighs> but it is what it is that's 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 why we play the game Sai Raven Song said, "I loved Atlas, but the politics and guild leaders, I just couldn't." Yeah, I don't like their claiming uh, islands and land or whatever. You know, we tried doing it, and I kept I kept asking the members, "Why are Why are we trying to do this? It's what benefit do we get from it? Where we can just stay in the normal and we don't have to do that." You're like, well, just so we can say we did, because all you the only benefit is you get a little tax if somebody else builds on your island. Big deal. I can go out and mine and cut down trees and everything else faster than I'll get uh, taxes off somebody who's building on my land. Sigh, Raven Song said, I did get to be captain of my own ship, and that's why I like it now. I had some stern rules, but they worked. Yeah. Well, I don't have the name Captain Adonis for no reason. <laughs> when I joined this gaming group, I was like the oldest person in the gaming group, and they're like, oh, you could be captain. <laughs> so when I started up my YouTube channel, I, I said, well, why not? So I got Adonis from uh, my favorite hitman in the mob. His name was Adonis. It's also a Greek god, but that's not why I took it. Even though I use the Greek god as my image. Or my avatar, whatever you want to call it. Sai Raven Song said, I D I D N T even noticed till you said something. Ah, my battery's about dead. I thought I charged up my battery as I was going. I'm going to have to increase it a little more. So 30, maybe 35. I know 39 works. Oops, it's the wrong one. Sai Raven Song said, Mine's barely holding at 90%. 
Wow. You need more generators, more battery. I mean, I what I was doing was mining. I left it at 30%, left it running, and it would it would Sigh, max Ravensaw my battery. Said, I have a lot of engines. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, I kind of balanced this out. I Let's see, I went through four or five of my starter ships to figure this one out. Because before I got before I learned how to build stuff manually, I was using the modules, and you can only do I, I found you can only do so many modules before the stupid thing would wig out on you. So I've got one, uh, you know, the ship comes with one generator. I've got two other generators, and then I got two four-pack battery packs, and I've got. Uh, eight, eight thrusters on the back, and that seems to hold pretty good. You just it's just a matter of Sigh, playing Ravensaw with your generator. Said, this is my fourth ship, and I'm tired of trying to fix it. I just want to make one from scratch. Oh yeah, well, that's what Zanfan's doing, and uh, he he's having a heart attack. He gets migraines. <laughs> I wonder if he's watching my stream. Uh, nope. My buddy Bob is. Sigh, Ravensong said, I love to learn and figure things out. Yeah, that's, that's why I play the game. I usually get to that point where I figured everything out and then the game gets boring. <laughs> Which is why I dropped Imperion Galactic Survival. I actually, with Imperion, I actually started a Iron Man contest, and we did seven or eight seasons of Iron Man, which was a one death and you're out. And I would set goals every week, and we ran it for a month. Um, and then I had all sorts of people competing on it, some pretty popular people too. They wanted to give it a shot. They heard about it, so that kind of kind of made my my uh, YouTube channel jump a little bit. But I got bored with it too because they kept changing kept changing things on Imperion, and adding weight now and everything else. I just I got I mean they're they're trying to turn it into a better game, and I get that, but it just wasn't there all right let's see am i going up 49 no 26 17 all right so this one's still counting my battery down as i'm on full thrust at 39 or 35 i think 39 is the sweet spot but um i'm gonna cut this off there we go just joined transfer all this over Oh, I'm David. I gotta learn. I gotta remember to get off my seat. So I have my my mining laser set up to my mouse click, um, and it's the right click. <laughs> so when I transfer my ore, I always set my mining laser off. All right. Let's sell some more. Sell some more ore. Oh, I want to do that first. I want to combine my... Alright, those two there. No others in that stack. This one... I just got one. No, oh, there's a partial stack. Sigh, Ravensong said, I never sell ore. I need it to build and craft. Um, so the ship I want to buy is like 700,000. So what I'm doing right now is I'm auctioning off all my ore to make money. Um, and then once I made the money, you also have to have the ores. Um, but yeah, if you're building your own, have you used the blueprint, uh, w w mode that they have on the game?
because realistically that's the way to do it you design your ship in blueprint that way it doesn't require any materials and then once you get it exactly the way you want it then sigh raven song said very little but i've done a fair amount of research okay. i don't anticipate any issues okay yeah that's that's what zan's been using zanfin um and it, it works pretty good but he gets frustrated because you know it's learning it's learning how to use the program to make your ship um because he's got design ideas trust me he's he's an awesome I, that's the reason I play with him is because whenever we play a sandbox game he's the builder and I'm the collector I go out and I get all the ore and trees and whatever else he needs and then he builds the ship or you know whatever the base it's a good combination between the two of us but he's getting frustrated with the program because there's a lot to it you know because you're not only doing your framing I mean it's like building a house you start off with your framing then you do your plumbing and your electrical and you know to all your appliances and so on and so forth your engines and generators and all that and then you put the sheeting on the outside and the inside so you have something to walk on so it's you know and the sheeting isn't I mean have all the pieces there but uh That's not what I wanted to do on that last one. I did that last one as a single listing. Oh well. Somebody may buy it. If not, it'll expire and then I'll put it back as separate listings. Uh, let's go 3800. Oop. <coughs> Is my they're both parcels all right well whatever getting there 616,000 I think maybe one more trip back out. Quarter to five. Yeah, I got time for one more trip. Been streaming about an hour, so that'll give me a little more time. Um, I got fuel rods on me. So, propellant, we're good to go. Alright. I appreciate you uh, jumping on the stream here. Good to talk to somebody when you're streaming. Usually I get my uh, some of my other buddies 
jump on it and we sit there and yak. Sai Ravensong said, just trying to think of what I would do in the game if I logged in. Well, it's, if you're going to design your own ship, that's the thing to do is jump into Blueprint. I mean, that pretty much takes up all your day. <laughs> but you still got to have, once you design your ship and you got it in a Blueprint, you still have to buy it, just like any other ship, Sigh, and have Raven the materials. Song said, mine to build and design a ship, but then what? Um, yeah, go on to the next next ship. It's the only thing I can tell you, man. That's all we're doing. Mine to you set a goal of getting one ship and then go get another one. Of course, I think what we're going to do is eventually we're going to build our own star base too. I just researched that in my research tree. Um the hell was that under advanced yeah so i've got station foundation inside the safe zone and i unlocked advanced yeah, advanced craft so the next thing i want to unlock is uh, basic block modules or no i unlocked that what was it was it this no i had to unlock this one um oh i did already so this one i need Sigh, 20, Raven thousand. Song said it needs to have a function, a purpose, or I get discouraged from even getting started. Yeah. I hear you. Well, that's that's station modules. Unlocks modules. So pre-made part. That's 20,000. Jesus. Bench metal saw upgrade. And this stuff over here is, oh, I probably need to unlock these first. Bench metal grinder. Starting plates. Yeah. So I need to go to this side now. So I suppose that's the next big thing, you know, you, you learn how to build a ship and once you get your ship built, then you learn and you get a nice mining ship built how you want it, then you turn around and you start building your, your station, your own space station. And then watch some 12 year old griefer come in and destroy it. <laughs> I have a problem with 12 year old griefers, just so you know. <laughs> Sai Ravensong said, Me and another guy never did figure out how to attach stuff to the station. Like crafting benches and utilities. Well, so crafting benches, you gotta bolt it down. I mean, I've got, I've got crafting benches on my ship. I've got just a basic crafting bench, and it's bolted down. And then I've got the advanced, or I think this one's the weapons, or tools. I think this is a tools one crafting um, yeah that's the tools one because I can craft that so it requires a basic crafting bench oh no that's basic
No, this is the this is the advanced crafting bench. So that's the basic. There's the advanced, and then I've got this. Um, oh, it's on my it's on my station. Sai Raven Song said, "We tried about ten ways to build a bench for the station, but as soon as you log out or leave the station, they all vanish." Oh, really? See, I haven't tried logging out since I placed this one on my ship. Oh, that's just a cube. That's just a cube somebody threw away. Sai Ravensong said, ships are fine. Okay. Yeah, we haven't even attempted. We haven't even attempted the Starbase yet. Where'd it go? No, oh, there it is. Yeah, I have my uh, World of Warcraft raid stream tonight. Um. Sai Ravensong said, You need a plow on the front of your ship, lol. <laughs> yeah, right? What I need is, oh, that's what I should do, Sai. That's an awesome idea. Put some beams going out and make like a, a thing you can catch the asteroid in. And you just run into the asteroid and it stays in that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like a funnel. On the front of your ship. Oh, dude, you gave me an awesome idea. Now I just need to patent it and make a ton of money off of it. <laughs> yeah, you could attach it right to the front. There's all these beams right up front. I was I was trying to make a four-point laser harness up front here and totally screwed it up. Because apparently... Only the fixed laser mounts are snapping Sai together. Raven Song said, "The Adonis Rock Catcher." There you go. I even got a name for it now. <laughs> the ARC. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm gonna tell Zan all about my ARC. <laughs> I gotta build it though. So maybe I'll stream that. Um, let's see. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream that tomorrow and stream me building it. But yeah, that would work good. You just plow right into it. As long as you're in the safe zone, who gives a crap? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I might do that. It might bounce. But maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. The Adonis Rock Catcher. I love it. Anyway, I was saying I got my World of Warcraft stream here about an hour and a half. So I will be back on streaming tonight, but... It'll be Warcraft. But of course, it's our raid. So, I don't know if you've seen the new content or not. The Sanctum of Domination. I don't do what I'm doing here on that one. Um, you just see my stream and my viewpoint. Because there's so many people talking. You know, because of the raid. I, I can't really talk to my streamers and such. I do hear them, and Sai I type Raven back. Song said, I bought the last XPAC and never looked back at the game. Oh, okay. Well, this is their free update to the last X pack. It's newer content. Of course, I don't know if you follow the news and what's going on with them. But they Sai have all Raven the... Song said, 
Horde or Alliance? Alliance. Never could do Horde because all the 12 year old griefers are on the Horde side. <laughs> Told you I had a problem with 12 year old griefers. Sigh Raven Song said, <laughs> Yay, Void Elf. <laughs> yep. I play a Beastmaster Hunter though. A Dwarven Beastmaster Hunter. Right in the face. Sai Raven Song said, I have a problem with Gryphers in general, regardless of age. People who derive pleasure at the misery of others. Well, it's just, so to me here, let me explain my 12 year old griefing. <laughs> so I had somebody do this just the other day. I was out here mining and he, I was adding on to my ship. I was adding cargo containers on. As I got minerals, I was, you know, adding them on as I went. And so he stops by and I didn't, I didn't see him and he shows up and next thing I know, he's standing next to me. I'm like, Oh, Hey, you know, and I start typing to him and he was just like, Oh, I was just making sure you were all right. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just adding on to my ship. Well, he stole one of my fuel cores. So I whispered him back and I said, did you need that fuel core? <laughs> he's like, no, no, I didn't need it. And he was like, well, what the fuck did you take it for then? But it's just like, you know, what is the point of stealing a fuel core? I mean, I would have, I, obviously I would have gave it to him if you asked. But, whatever. But 12 year olds do stupid shit like that. They just, like, my, my buddy Zanfen, his, uh, his boy's now playing. And he goes, yeah, I've just been running around all the ships that are just sitting there out in the, you know, at the starbase that are just sitting out. He goes, yeah, I just steal their fuel cores. I don't have to buy any fuel cores. I just take theirs. Because they don't, they're too dumb to realize you can despawn your ship. So they just leave them there. Sigh, well, Raven Song said, when people do harmful things without a reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's the griefing part. Like GTA. We used to play a lot of GTA in the day and now it's nothing but griefers. Whoop! Ugh.
Sai Raven Song said, I won't blow up someone's ship simply because they're there, and I can. Yeah, <laughs> right? But a griefer says just the opposite. I'm going to blow up a ship because I can. And because I'm there. All right, I won't run into this one this time. I need to make my ADC. Or no, what was it? A Donis Asteroid Catcher. AAC? AAC? Is that what we said? Sigh, Raven Song said. Oh. ARC, yeah. See, with this configuration, I'm running, what, 35%? Yeah. And the fuel rods are going down, but not that bad. And it's keeping my battery charged fully. But the reason I did that was because I would use my laser. Did it again. All right, line it up. Okay, there's where it's hitting. Mouse there, there we go. Now, I got a targeting ready. Zanfen GMR. Said. There's Zan. Hi. Zan Finn. Cy Raven Song and I have been Cy talking Raven about you. Song said. <laughs> Zan. I'm out here Cy collecting Raven ore. Song said. IV heard so much about you. <laughs> he had to go lay down. Zan had to go lay down because he got a headache. From, Zan uh, GMR <laughs> said. Lol, hope good stuff, lol. Oh, always good stuff for my army. Sigh, Raven Song said, All good. Oh, that's right, you went to go eat. You were starving. Sai Raven Song said, IV got a pretty bad headache, honestly. See, that just takes too long when I can go in here and just mine this stuff. I don't think the laser is any faster. Now, multiple laser, maybe. Xanfen GMR said, 
Yeah, just took off the laser. You just took one off? I thought you only had one laser on your ship, Zan. Or you're saying you're not using the laser for mining at all? Uh, Zanfan GMR said, yep, remove them. Yeah. He uses a lot of power. And you can just jump out of your ship and mine, so I think, so much faster with all the crap ore. I mean, you get a little bit, but not as much as you do when you use the laser. Holy crap. Sai Ravensong said, the laser is so lackluster right now. Yeah, they need to they need to improve it big time. If that's what they're going to use, this, you know, a laser Dunfin and a PMR vacuum. Said the greed raven. They need to. Uh, yeah, look at all that ice. See, it collected just a ton of ice. Look at that. All from that one laser blast. <laughs> look at all that ice. Ice doesn't sell worth a shit. All right, going back to hand mining. Oh, Zan! Sai gave me an awesome idea. Sai Ravensong said, I keep some ice for long trips to refill propellant tanks. What? What the hell are you saying, Sai? You can refill your propellant tanks with ice? Xanfen GMR said, yeah. question mark, exclamation mark. Sai <laughs> Ravensong said, yes. How the hell do you do that? I know you got to type it in, but maybe you can simplify it by saying, you know, I don't know. How would you Sorry, do it? Raven song said, go check your bench. All right. So my crafting bench. And then propellant. I'll do that. God damn it. Sai Ravensong said, ship parts. Ship parts. Sai Raven Song said, third one, refill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the gener that's the fuel rod for the generators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a sec, no, that the third one. Sai Raven Song said, third propellant tank. I saw that they're hydrogen, but where do you put the ice in at in order to refuel it? Generator socket. Coolant recharge. 
That's for the coolant cells. Psy Ravensong said, Pop out the old tank, use it in the craft, put tanks back in place. Oh, I follow you, craft. Okay, okay. Because what materials this require to craft? Well, carrium and bastium. Ice. So the small propellant. Oh, Zan, look at that. So. This requires ice for your crafting material, and you just do the refill small hydrogen propellant tank, and then you take it out of your ship and put a new one in. Awesome. That's why this propellant tank has a bar on it. So, do you have to take... Do you... Yeah, you have to unbolt the propellant tank then, right? Because this one ain't set up for it then. Cy Ravensong yeah. said, okay. yes. So this is the wrong end because this is the end that the pipes are attached to. You'd want to be on the other end in order to unbolt it from that. It, well, you have to unbolt it from both ends in order for the tank to come out. All right, but that keeps you like what happened Sorry, to you, Zan. Raven song said, not the casing, just the blue part. Xanfen GMR said, just remove tank, not mount. Right, but you have to uh, you have to unbolt the tank from the mount. Is it just those two bolts there? Sai Raven Song said, two front, two back. Yeah, see, I can't even get to the ones in the back. All right, let's see if it'll come out. Nope. That unmounts the whole bracket. So this ship isn't set up to do that. I will have to redesign the propellant tanks and I'll pull these out and redo them so it's easier to get to all four bolts. So I can pull just some, you know, because one end I know has the pipes in it. And the other end of the propellant tanks can't see <laughs> all right well that's good to know I didn't even I didn't even read those Sai, you're a lifesaver see you need to come join our group Sai Ravensong said a lot of this game is not obvious yeah well, it's alpha, you know, so that's understandable. I played plenty of alpha games. They all kind of play the same way. So you, you know, you're pretty, it's pretty instinctual, but it still would be nice. Oh, I need my diggy diggy hole tool. Sai Ravensong said, I play a lot of survival games.
Zanfen GMR said Cap Can't See Ya Sai Ravensong said Lol that picture Captain underscore Adonis said Phone call
Yeah, and I'm back. So that was the wife. You know, you gotta you gotta answer that call when the wife calls. So she actually works in another town, so she's driving back. She's commuting. She commutes. So she just let me know she was heading out and that uh, she was gonna stop and get dinner. So yay! I wish I had a Whataburger, but I don't. So we get Wendy's instead. And thanks, Cy, for uh, giving me a follow. I appreciate that. All right, how full am I? I'm going to get rid of the ice. Almost. I'm running out of asteroids. I think the cloud moved in. There we go. There's some down there. So are you back in game, Zan? Suppose I could look on Discord and see if he's in game. Zan from yep. GMR said, yes. Hey. Hey, what's up, brother? Now, now we can hear you. I so what do you what did you decide to do? Um, I am just mining. Uh, so I'm I've gonna got... mine it. I'm I'm working the auction house, gonna get soul stuff, and then I'm I'm starting to work on that other ship. So are you gonna build it or you you gonna buy it? I'm gonna buy it, man. Yeah. I'm so frustrated with that building thing. <laughs> Let me make money and then we'll go from there. Yeah. I'll I'll take another day where I sit and do nothing but work on the building stuff. So right now, th this ship has durability issues, and I'm not even sure where they're at. Oh, you still can't see with your utility? Yeah, I don't understand what I'm looking at. Well, the utility yeah, will show all your durability issues in red. And typically, what I've found is durability issues are not enough bolts or too many bolts. So you may have okay, to back so... bolts out. So how do I activate the, the, the what you're talking about? It's so it's utility. It's that middle button. Yeah, it's you, utility. And then what? And then you go to blueprint. Yeah. And then it's that middle of the three buttons on the upper right. And it'll be red. It will be yes. Everything else so will be green. Everything else will be except green. except the durabilities, which will be red. Okay, so everything I have is green. Well, why is besides, it... Besides the missing plates. I'm missing some plates and stuff I took but off. But are those red? No, they're blue. Okay. Well, you can uncheck those in the layers. See, oh, oh, on the left side of, this, of the left side of the utility screen, there's layers. You can uncheck whether those are visible or not. See, I can check the plates, and I'm missing 16 of them. Oh my God! Okay, so you put your mouse, your 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 uh, your pointer, right? Uh huh. Sorry, you put your pointer over that, and you zoom in. I just found that out. Yeah. Thanks. I'm blind as a bat here. Oh yeah. See how see how big mine is? Yeah, I do. Shut up. And you can scroll wheel it down, and then scroll wheel it back up. Don't care. Shut shift. up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just saw that. Uh, all right. So, will that tell you anything about durabilities? We go off what? my head. Yeah. Dog. See, like, like if on. you watch in my stream, see this. Yes. This is all everything that's. Um, hold on. I can put it all back. Everything on my ship is green. If you had durability issues, it would say in chat, "You have a durability issue." Okay. And it does. Okay. Well, yeah. Mine says this ship has a durability issue. So then you look around. Um, whoops. <laughs> you look around your ship. Mm -hmm. um, 
for any red. There's one right there, see? And it's gonna be that middle cargo butt, that middle cargo spot, I bet. No. Wasn't there a red one? Could have swore I saw it. Maybe it was just the orange. Man, I'll have to let you look at it. I'm kind of colorblind. I don't see it any. Yeah, I'm not. Might have to swing by and let you take a look at it. Yeah. Because I'm not seeing any red anywhere. Well, I do know that with cargo boxes, if it isn't full, if it doesn't have cargo in it, and it's not connected well enough, once you put cargo in it, you'll get a durability error. Because that was happening to me as I was adding these cargo boxes. My big thing is I have no support under these. Now, this side, I added support. See that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's red. All right, you found it. I found a red. Yep. And what is it? Uh, whenever I took out the, uh, when I took out the, uh, the laser, I didn't put the bolt back in. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that'll cause a durability issue. And it's funny that one durability issue and your now ship sits green. there and creaks and groans and and I think it drags a bit just to kind of go, hey, you're not going to you're not gonna take care of it, fine, then you're not going to get any mileage on this. Yeah, probably. Now, I can't tell if I fixed it or if it's a problem. Hey, somebody's been here mining. <laughs> I'm going over all the same rocks I had before. That looks like a new one. Did you go lick your butt somewhere else? Sorry. <laughs> He's talking to his dog, Sai. Just so you know. Not like his wife or his kids. <laughs> He's a pug and he's sitting right next to my head licking his butt. Kind of kick, come on, go somewhere else, dude. Oh, niggerite, niggerite, niggerite. Ooh, this is a big one. Niggerite? You found some niggerite? Oh, wow, yeah. you found a big one. Yeah, because yeah, it's going to be found a big hole inside. I just found a huge Volcarium ore. Nice. Yeah, these are the ones I like. The hole in the center is like a big chewy nougat. So anyway, I was saying Psy might join us. Cap, yeah, how big is your, uh, is the, uh, whatchamacallit? What? The other one. Your big other ship. My wiener? The other ship. Oh, the other ship? I don't know. What, what? Size-wise, it's bigger than the one I've got here. Yeah, I was wondering, I was asking, why, why aren't you using the Longhorn to, to mine? Oh, I suppose I could. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that that's it, it's, it works. Uh, it does. I mean, you just the lasers. Well, no, i got to fix the durability issues. But that shouldn't but be got, a big deal. But it's got like a hundred. Yeah, well, this one's still growing in two. What the hell? Poor puppy can't breathe. Horrible. Probably because I built this one from scratch. Uh, 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 there it is. There's the other one. Dang, I must, when I took off the freaking bolts, I must have not put nothing back. Well, no, no, so, so seriously, it can be too many bolts or not enough bolts. Oh, it one has, two. it has like one bolt. It's got one bolt in it and that's it. So anyway, Cy was, uh, we were sitting here no, talking. Oh, has no bolts in it. Yeah. How's this holding on? <laughs> um, Cy was sitting here watching me, and I kept running into asteroids, right? And I don't remember how the conversation went, whether he said you should make an asteroid catcher, or maybe I thought of it when he, when he said that I kept running into him. But I'm going to I'm going to make some angled beams on the front of my ship. And that way when I hit the asteroid, 
the angled beam, angled beams, you know, make it like a big funnel, will grab the asteroid and hold it there until my ship slows down. Now, obviously, that can only be done in the safe zone. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's an awesome idea. And then he, we named it, too. It's the Captain Adonis Asteroid Catcher. So it's the C-A-R. Or C-A-C or A-R-C. I don't remember what the hell we called it. <laughs> the Adonis... It was A. Jeff, why wouldn't it not let me put the uh, the, the bolts in? It won't let you put bolts in. Do you have fuel for your gun? You have nails. Uh, Three hundred and ninety-two. Okay, well you got plenty of nails. Um. So I did find that if there's nothing for the nail to go into, you know, like if there's not a frame or something there, then it won't let you put it in there. Like... Yeah, I mean, I, I got you. See, like, when you see this bolt right there, that's going through the outside sheeting into the rail. That's the only place it's going to do it. Now you could take your bolt gun and you can go there and shoot a nail the other way or a bolt the other way. Did you see that? Yeah, I see you. Try some here. Oh, 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 oh. I did it. I got rid of another. God damn it. Now where's this one go? Right there. <laughs> no. So I found a loose panel too. And the panel hasn't fallen off yet, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> Look at how many bolts I put in that one. Oh, that's because <laughs> I didn't get the panel right. I can meet the answering machine. All right, so where did this panel come from? It's not that panel, but that's the panel that's missing. not one on the end of that. Oh, it slides up underneath that panel. I had durability issues. <laughs> yeah, I think that was from that panel. I put it back. Might have disconnected the piping on it, but at least it's done.
Anyway, Cy was saying that uh, he quit playing Starbase because he couldn't find anybody to play with. That you know, and then he was like, "Well, what do you do after you build a ship?" And you know, he's got a point. I mean, that after you build your ship, you build your shipyard or your starbase, whatever. But yeah, it's going to be like any other game. Once you get past all this stuff and you learn how to do it, then what do you do? <laughs> oh, they're going to have to add, then it turns into space engineers. Yeah. Really cool building, but nothing to do. <laughs> Well, you got PvP, and I think that's why they did it. Space Engineers doesn't have PvP. Yeah, it does. Oh, does it? I know it yeah, it does. Oh, it son of a bitch. Somebody didn't break this asteroid apart. You must be right behind me. Why aren't you breaking your asteroids apart? Too much Don't to be do. a dick, dick. <laughs> Too I've much lost, to do. I've lost the base. That's got something in it. I can see it. I can see it glaring off the sun. That's got something in it. Yeah, so um, if you if you go out really, 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 really far and then turn back around with the light behind you, you can actually see which uh, asteroids are glittering. Yeah. I still can't see them. You're supposed to be able to tell the color that way, too. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I, yeah. you can look at them and see the coloring, but... The ice, the ice ones. If you're looking for a certain thing, the things that have ice in it will be, will be white. Yeah. That's where your nougarite's at. Your yeah, buddy. Anyway, I told Sai to uh, send me an in-game email if he wanted to yeah, play with hey. us. Yeah. Well, he was just saying he got bored with it because he didn't have anybody to play with. I said, "Well, we're starting we got, a company." Uh, got it. We have a uh, my son plays also, so yeah, we got to get him and in, invited to the company. Yep, he's at work. Whoa! But uh, he likes he likes PvP a lot, so uh, we'll put him in a ship. Damn straight, I'll buy him a fighter. Add more weapons to it. As soon as I. Get the research done for the weapons honestly i wouldn't add anything i would keep everything stock because if you break it oh you can't really be afraid i'm getting this shit figured out i got my ore collector working i just can't figure out why yours isn't working i don't know I don't know if I have any more durability errors. Auction house isn't as hard as I thought, so no. Um, I went and parked myself in front of the the uh, the ore cellar, and I went, okay, so this is you get better price on the auction. I did a little, uh, did some selling. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot of this stuff, as soon as I sold it, got bought out. Yep. Well, if you put it in for the low price, yeah, you're going to. Because that's, that's what everybody's buying at right now. I mean, everybody buys at the low price. But if it's like 2900 and you put it in for 3000 it may take 10, 15 minutes for it to sell. You know, I put in some stuff that was like selling for like 4500 so I put it in for 5000 It didn't sell at all. The price never got up that high. Those are just things you got to learn as you go. What sells and at what price. I thought it was static, though. I thought, you know, the market, not the auction house, but the marketplace, I thought was a set price. No, and it's, it's not. not. It's fluid to the auction house. 
Yeah, so what I've been doing is landing on the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, right above the, um, the, where the, the, the big meteorite flashing light is. There's a tower right there that's an ore cellar. Yeah. So I land, I, I stop my ship right there, park, and compare prices. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I've watched several videos that said do not sell to the ore seller. Well, and that's the same place as the marketplace. It's an ore seller. You can yeah. sell your ore there. But that's what I was saying. I, I park right there. That way I don't have to get out of my ship. I can turn. It, it has a fuel depot right there also. Like, it's part of it. It's a fuel, fuel depot. So you can fuel and then compare prices right there. and don't have to go back into the yeah. tower. Well, you know, if you look at your auction house, it gives you this, the low, the medium, and the high price. And that, that, that's attached to the, uh, the one, the regular seller? No, the auction house. Right yeah, but does it... Uh, menu. Uh, I'm nowhere near that. But does it oh. compare... Uh, does it show the, uh, the, the one that's at the, the computer's price or whatever? Not no, the, the, market. the marketplace. So there's the auction house and the marketplace. Yeah. The marketplace is where you sell at your board, at the board. Does it show that though? Does it show that? Can't remember. Does if it, it show what? What the market price? What the the auction house price is? No, house. not the auction house price, but the market price. No, the auction house price shows high, medium, and low auction. Yeah, the, but it doesn't the show the marketplace. The marketplace, I believe, is probably an average of what's being yeah. sold at the auction house and what people are selling on the marketplace. Really? Of all the ore you're going to collect, you're going to collect ice? I don't think so. Yeah, I think you're right, Zan. I should probably be coming out in the Longhorn. <laughs> I can carry I more ore. So <laughs> well, not just that. It's, it's really, really fast. Yeah. It hauls ass. Yep. So. And it's got it's got connectors on the front of it. Connectors on the front. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's got the uh, the the line ports, lifeline port. Oh yeah. On the front. Yeah, I just take out the front glass. Yep. <clears throat> that way I can just jump out real easy. All right. Oh, I better run it out. Run my fuel rods out and I'm going to replace them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, is run my fuel rod out. 60, I 40, am, uh, 30, 20, and my fuel rod's out. I'm 24 kilometers out. I am 9,000. All right, shut my generator off. Time to go change out my fuel rods. <laughs> we are back. Thanks. Yeah, I was talking to my son yesterday. So what he was doing is he was taking his uh, 
his ice and stuff and bolting it to his his, his ship. <laughs> yeah, which is fine, but that's it's a waste of bolts. Yeah, but it's still funny. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the, <laughs> you're sitting there going, what can I bolt to my ship? Ice. <laughs> well, you could probably bolt any ore. Figure, yeah. Well, that's what, isn't that what the, uh, the, the, not the teleporter thing, what do you call the portal thing? The, 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 the uh, Oh, do you, the, the, oh my god. Not the tractor beam, but there's like a thing that you can put, it's a blue light that, uh, I've seen some people use them on their, uh, well, not somebody, but I've seen, uh, the ones inside the, uh, sorry, I'm doing something and my brain yeah, is shutting off at the same time. I just created a lot more space. Tractor beams. That's what I want to figure out. What the what's the tractor beam thing? Because I think you can throw cargo in those spots. Yeah, the tractor beam. I I don't know. I haven't played with it at all. They should create an NPC. The NPCs that uh assign you to do missions and stuff like that. That'd be kind of nice. successfully replaced all three of them which you can fill partials yeah I found that out really quick I had a whole shitload of partials For the guys on the stream, I think what I'm going to do is I'm heading back to the station. I'm going to sell my ore, put it on the auction house, and then call it a stream. And i got two hours in right now. So thank you very much. Don't forget to follow and uh, hit that notification bell if you uh, want to be notified when I'm streaming. And uh, please go to my YouTube page and uh, join my YouTube page there. And, Give me a subscription. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Uh, you don't have to hit the notification bell if you don't want to because my streams go right there. And then, so you just be kind of getting double double the fun, though. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for watching. Zan, say goodbye. Goodbye, Zan. <laughs>